Assalamualaikum uh, Let's continue with uh, question number 20 For SPM trial paper uh, At Mets uh, Paper 1 2011 in Johor Number 20 Diagram 20 shows the curve Y to Fx And if Okay If given that the area Under the curve Okay Between 0 and 3 is equal to 9, find the area of the shaded region it will probably look a bit intimidating but it's not so difficult to do um, let, let me show you some steps, let's see whether or not we have enough space no we don't have enough space well I can just write the answer there very easily but I, know I want to show you the steps how to get there okay let me just cut, uh, just copy the screen um, do again this problem is very very simple I show you let's go to the bottom page okay okay I'm gonna work out on the right side of this diagram Okay, you see, this graph is, uh, this diagram is made of two areas, okay, there is a rectangle, hmm, of dimension 3 unit, okay, and there is a height of 9 unit, okay, this is basically correspond to the area I am going to mark here, okay, so that rectangle I've carried it here. Okay. Okay. We find that area first. Okay. We find that area which is nine uh, multiplied by three. Then we get twenty-seven unit square. Uh, then it says here that is a curve, which I will draw in green. All right. And the area under the curve, uh, which. Let me see whether or not I can. Now I just go in a shade area. This is represented by um, by this. Yes. So this area is nine unit square. Okay. So if we want to find uh, the shaded region, the black shaded region here, what we do is to take out the area of the green shaded region this uh, this shaded uh, well this shaded region from the rectangle region very very simple so here's the way to do it area of the rectangle is equal to 9 times 3 which is 27 unit square Okay, then area under the curve and the curve uh, between x equal to 0 and x equal to 3 is this which is 9 unit square so the shaded region area of shaded region is equal to 27 minus 9 which is 18 <laughs> 18 unit square there you go let's move on to the next question that carries two points two uh, yeah two points next question uh, number 21 Okay, integration as well. Given, okay, that well, I don't want to read it. You can read it yourself because very, uh, very awkward reading equations. <laughs> so we want to find the value of k, where k is constant. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. 
um, let let me just do it right off this uh, this sheet. See, you know, uh, the question is, you want to find the value of k, and the last thing given here is that for one for f x plus two k x dx equal to 7 this is actually equal to this okay separately plus 2kx dx from 4 to 1 which is equal to 7 okay and this in turn this in turn equal to uh, the one that's given above here ok 4 over 3 and uh, it was there to confuse you but it is mighty simple ok plus uh, this is the right hand side not the right hand side this, this portion over here Okay, I'm gonna continue. Well, let's just do it. Just do it right here. Then um, this function, this equal to three plus two plus. Let's go and uh, integrate this. This equal. <coughs> this is equal to k x squared yeah between 4 and 1 equal to 7 okay let's just continue right here then um k uh, 4 squared minus 1 squared is equal to 2 yeah, because this uh, 3 and 2 carry over to the right then you become minus then 7 minus 5 becomes 2 ok then k uh, 16 and uh, this is uh, 16 minus 1 k equal to 2 so k is equal to 2 over 15 so this is the answer it's uh, very very simple let's go to the next question and this is a statistic question. A set of positive integers consisting of 6, 7, m, 1, 8, 3, and 3. Find the value of m if the mean of data is 5. Hmm. This question B. State the range of the values of m if the median of data is m. Okay, let me just check something. Alright. You know, the me mean meaning that um, you need to total up, total up all the numbers there and divide it by the number of terms so in this case this number has seven values to it seven numbers okay number six seven eight that is six seven m one eight three three so just seven numbers yeah it's running slow i know so mean is equal to 5 okay and that is actually equal to 6 plus 7 plus m plus uh, 1 plus 8 plus 3 plus 3 over 7 which is equal to 5 okay then you can use your calculator uh, to calculate 6 plus 7 plus 1 plus 8 plus 3 plus 3 which is equal to 28 and 7 we carry forward we carry to the right hand side okay and then becomes uh, m plus 28 equal to 35 so m is equal to 35 minus 28 which is which is 7 
Okay, that's the value of m. If the mean is 5. And let's take a look at b, median. State the range of value of m if the median of data is m. Okay, if m is with the median, then, then state the range. That means m need to be in the middle. So we need to go and uh, rearrange this number. Okay, from 1. And the next number would be 3. And then 3 again. And then m, okay, because m is the, is the median, is the middle value. After m would be uh, 6, 7, and 8. So we are uh, ordering in an ascending uh, order. And the median is the the middle value. Okay, we have three here, and we have under the three on the right. So the 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 middle one is the median. And what is the what is the range? So it can be it can be anywhere between three and six, inclusive. So the answer to that question would be m is uh, greater than or equal to three, or less than or equal to six. That's the answer. A, can a canary, canary car can accommodate one driver and three adults. Yeah, yeah, canary can only accommodate four people. <laughs> Find the number of different ways the selection can be made from three men and four women. Okay, three men for me, so there are seven altogether. If A, there is no restriction for the seating. Okay, meaning anybody can drive at the driver's seat or anybody can can uh, can sit at the other passenger seats. B the driver driver must be a man. Hmm, good choice. You know, believe me, you don't want to to have a woman to drive your car. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at A first. If there is no restriction for the seating, then what we'll do? This combination. Okay, yes, I know. Yeah, performance is slow. We are working on it. This is not about permutation, but it's combination. So it doesn't matter the arrangement of the seating. We just want to make sure that we want to have uh, four out of the seven people to fit into the car. So how many combinations there are? So this calls for the formula um, seven. Okay, because just seven people C four uh, because uh, there's only four seating available in the, in the car. And we can use our calculator to calculate. This is very simple. Yeah, just wait for the calculator to come out. There you go. So this is the function for C. And then it is 7. Press shift key. Get C out there. And 4. Voila. So there are 35 combinations to fit four people out of a pool of seven people. Thirty five is the answer. Okay, thirty five. That carries two marks. Very easy. And then B the driver driver must be a man. Okay, there are three men. So let's take a look at how many possible combinations from three men to occupy the one driver seat. That is uh, simple enough. That is 3C1. Now, there are three more seats available and there are six more people. Okay, because one, one, one person has already been taken and one person is already sitting on the driver's seat, right? So, out of seven, one sitting on the driver's seat, so left with six. And the seat is left with three. So, this is a co co combination of combination. <laughs> uh, this is a mixture of combination permutation. Mm -hmm. The computer running so slow, it's been reminding me over and over again, okay? We'll fix that. We'll restart the PC. So we need to... Uh, the, the other combination is uh, 6, C3. Because from 6 people, we need to occupy 3. So you have multiply together. Okay, then that equals to... Use our good old calculator. Um, 3, C1. That is 3, definitely. And uh, next one is 6. C three twenty. Okay, three times twenty. Okay, uh, three. Where's my ink? Three times twenty, which is sixty. Okay, there you have it. Four points in the back. Okay, we we. I think we have already overshoot our with our time of the video duration of the video. Let me check for a while. 
yep it, it is close to 15 minutes which is a good time for me to stop this video so we shall continue with the next one for the last two questions okay meet you again later on bye bye